Hello, I'm Bob Campbell and it's my pleasure to introduce you to number one family estate, uh, which is exactly that. It's the first producer of sparkling wine in Marlborough and, uh, and they are certainly a family. All the members of the family uh, all work together to produce high quality method Champenois sparkling wines. Hi, I'm Virginie Lebrun from Number One Family Estate and this is Lee Dobson. So our background is my father and our founder Daniel Lebrun is a 12th generation champagne maker and it was his aim in the beginning to really find something outside of champagne that could rival it and certainly as given that we're here some 40 odd years later you can probably guess he's found it here in Marlborough and at the time we really only had a handful of growers and maybe three or four other people other companies making method in the valley and uh, needless to say the Marlborough Valley doesn't really look like it used to in the late 70s anymore. So Lee's just bought us a beautiful glass of our incredible trophy winning <laughs> rosé. So Lee and I represent the 13th generation of the vignerons moving forward and producing method and solely method here at Number One Family Estate. So this is our Number One rosé. Spent two years on Lee's before being disgorged. The rosés are, we've been making this since 2008 and it's one of our kind of uh, Real, yeah. <laughs> if I do say so myself, <laughs> with a gesticulation, it's We're, a stunning wine, it really is. Mm, we really enjoy making this wine. All the fruits hand harvested. The clones we use are typically the Dijon clones, so 777, 667. All the color here is um, naturally created from the short maceration time of the, of the grapes. And the profile is stunning. I have to be careful that I don't talk too much about this because I love it that much. So on the nose you're getting some beautiful notes of strawberry and some cherry in there and then in the mouth of course we get notes of crushed strawberry it's beautiful and creamy and a little hint of um, almond in there as well it is truly elegant a stunning wine and i'm not just saying that try it for yourself and um and see what we mean anyway daniel myself and the winemaking team we make our wines in the traditional method uh just like they do in champagne so it's a three-step process. There's the tirage, the aging, and the disgorging process. So the tirage is where we create the bubbles in the wine. So that is when we add a small amount of sugar with the yeast culture, and the yeast converts the sugar into CO2, which forms the bubbles inside the bottles. The next step is the aging. So typically in the number one uh, range, we aim for two years of aging. Now this, gives the wine characters that we're looking for, which is the bready, briochey, biscuity types of uh, flavours. When we're happy with those characteristics in the wine, we'll then go to the disgorging process. And that's where we remove those yeast cells from the bottle. So inside the uh, bottle, we have the, the, the leaves or the dead yeast cells. And then through the process, we need to riddle them. So the bottle goes from the horizontal position like this um, and the, the, the leaves get swept down the bottle and they end up eventually in the neck of the bottle here and it's from this process here that we're able to then um, disgorge the, the bottles so these bottles get dropped into a neck freezer which freezes the neck of the bottle and then once we invert the bottle the, the yeast plug is, is retained in the neck and then the pressure inside the bottle forces out the uh, yeah. the yeast and voila. So cheers to being a top winery of New Zealand 2023.